Welcome to the Dad Got Parks Disney Character Warehouse update for the Vineland location, Saturday, February 20th. First one's in, almost all the time. Guess what? Haunted Mansion ears were back. They had a limited amount, but they did have some. They also had this cool Full of Spirit Zero hat. It's kind of a nice Halloween hat. I guess you could wear this at any time, but kind of more Halloween-y. They did have some Haunted Mansion. Why do I keep saying they did have? But you can see they have it. Haunted Mansion headbands. We just rode the Haunted Mansion. I Kid saw up. a raffle at a graveyard. I knew something was wrong. It was a dead giveaway. Waka waka. You need to stop interrupting me. I'm trying to tell them that the kiddo did not like Haunted Mansion and they can go check out my video about it. The link is in the description, but stop. They had a lot of cool Haunted Mansion stuff here. They had Haunted Mansion and Nightmare Before Christmas, kind of like grouped together in a little area for the scary section, I guess. $15.99 is not bad considering the amount of pins you get and everything. This is a pretty nice hat. I think it's a sequin flip. I didn't flip it, but I'm sure it changes his face. That's my guess. Maybe it doesn't. Oogie Boogie, I love this hat because I love the little spider that's hanging off the end there. Like, look at it. It's like all flappy. And it says Oogie Boogie. He has a very nice logo for being such a terrible guy. They finally dropped the price on these. These have been $4.99 for years. At least it feels like. Now they're $2.99. This absolutely needs to come down in price. If it does, I'll buy it, but I'm not buying it for $8. Sorry. And it's our favorite experiment, 626. He's here for everybody's pure enjoyment and... I love these. I keep showing them. I bought them. I use them. They're fantastic. They're useful and they store easily on your kitchen counter. Another item that I bought and love, I love this bottle. The texture's like a satin feel to it. Just feels good to hold, and it matches my Mandalorian backpack. Speaking of backpacks, they had these little mini wristlet ones, and this version is $19.99, but this version is $20.99. Extra sequins apparently cost an extra dollar. But these are lounge flies. They're cute and adorable uh they are called wristlets i have learned these things by going to the outlets and this is a pretty giant bag i like the pattern but it doesn't have a zipper on the top which a lot of the women at the store told me they did not like this is also a pretty cool bag i uh would be scared to get stuck on it's a small world but i do like the ride and i like that they have all the goodbyes and everything from there these are really awesome. This is an awesome park wallet for some ladies. You could put all your cards in there. It has a zipper to put in, you know, bills and all kinds of stuff in there. And it opens up and it has a nice little class. Plus it's Minnie Mouse. How could you not like that wallet? That's $7.99 and that's a fantastic price. These, are, I think they're gym bags. That's what I'm gonna call them, gym bags. They did have a couple of these tie-dye spirit jerseys. I love these because they're unique. Each one is different. And for only $20, you really can't go wrong. Instead of a $70 spirit jersey, you got a $20 spirit jersey. Why did Disney ban the Darth Vader toys? Because they're a choking hazard. Waka waka. All right, I kind of like that one. That one's approved. Good joke, Bear. These are pretty cool. If I was a crocman, I would be all over these. They are the retro crocs, and they've got that castle and the bright colors. Pretty cool. I just don't know how comfortable crocs are. They've got a ton of these Americana ears. They've just been having them forever, and they're still $4.99, which means they probably still have a ton more. They have these. These have been in and out, and they're back. And these are the mermaid hair, don't care, little mermaid ears. This is the old design. There is a new design of these in the parks. I've shown them in my other videos. This was like a couple of different kind of croc. It's like a strappy sandal croc. They only had a few of these, but they're pretty cool. Oh, it's time for everybody's favorite game show. What did dad buy? Hello everybody and welcome to what did dad buy today? The outlet has been frustrating me lately. Last week, we picked to go to International. We got some new stuff that we don't normally see. 
today went back to my home, to Vineland, and I find out that International had the purple wallpaper lounge fly bags, which makes me mad because that's like the bag that the wife wants. And I wasn't there to get it. But I did get some cool stuff, which I will share with you right now. So let's get into what da 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 Rewind that. Let's get into what did dad buy. According to the very friendly cast members there, they got one box of flower and garden stuff this morning. And in it were some of these awesome flip top turvises. So it does like that. And it has like a, like a nice little hook. And these are really pretty. These are flower and gardens last year's flower and garden. 2020. Flower and Garden 2021 is coming up. Um, and these were only $2.99. Uh, this is normally $30. So that's a huge discount. And it's Tervis, which is a great brand. I was very excited to score one of these. We'll probably bring this to the park one day. In addition to that, they had more Flower and Garden stuff, including this like flowery headband with a, it says Flower and Garden Festival. It's like a bow. I don't know if it'll focus on that. Probably not it's focusing on my face. But these have like a little bee. They're really cool. I think it needs to be brighter in here. Hold on. Ah, that's better. And these were only $2.99. They're pretty pretty. Pretty pretty. All right. Am I doing it right? I don't think I'm doing it right. I'm, actually, I'm, I'm almost positive I'm not doing it right. But the kiddo was excited to get this. This one's hers, you can see it, no tags on it, nothing. The tags immediately came off and she was like, I want that, give me that. Kiddo. Another awesome flower and garden purchase. This is like a satchel blanket. So it rolls up into a blanket with will handle and you can carry it around with you and have a little picnic. And it's got Buzz the Bee and it's got Donald on there, Flower and Garden. This was only $3.99, regularly $40. It's like 90% off. That's amazing. I can't wait to use this for a little picnic with the kiddo and the family. That's gonna be fun. Now this is something dad has bought before and I bought it at a higher price. This is not what I was expecting. This is a different item. This is not something dad has bought before. We'll get to that. This is what I missed out on last week. Magic Kingdom Starbucks tumbler. I got the Animal Kingdom, but this is the Magic Kingdom one. And look how nice that is. So cool. Let's see, we've got uh, Haunted Mansion. We got Pirates, we have Small World, we have Dole Whip, you got Dumbo on there. I mean, oh, a Lantern from Tangled. Awesome, right? $7.99. I think these things are like $25 or $30 in the parks. There's no price on it, but very stoked to get this. Let me go get that thing that I said that I bought that I already did. I messed it up. Hold on. Okay, this is that thing that I said I bought at a higher price, but I bought again because you can't just not pass it up at this price. Look at it. Buzz the Bee Flower and Garden Bee Mug. These are awesome. These are $25 mugs for $3, $2.99. And they are really awesome. They have great details on them. You get the flower and garden logo you get buzz so cool right they only had a few of these and i was lucky to grab some we already have one but can't have enough make a set of them i don't know if we'll ever drink we we've been making a display in one of our curio cabinets with all these mugs and stuff now we have like non-drinking mugs and mugs you drink out of it's getting mug ridiculous oh that's bad i should leave the Jokes to the bear, that's really bad. Flower and Garden wasn't the only festival that they had stuff from. 
They had food and wine. Queen of Cuisine. Oh no, this isn't Queen of Cuisine. This is just a Food and Wine Festival 2020. 25th anniversary. Tervis with a pink top. Kiddo loves pink. These are normally $27. This was $5.99. $5.99! Here's that Queen of Cuisine that I was mad at. Okay, this thing came out at $20. I'm like, I'm not paying $20 for something at the outlets. That seems way too high for something that's supposed to be discounted. Then they dropped it to $5.99 and they were gone. I never got one, but I wanted one because I have a bottle like this. And this is the best insulated bottle I've ever owned. Um, it really keeps things hot for a very long time and cold. And this is a Queen of Cuisine Food and Wine Festival 2020. And this is a really good, solid bottle. They're, they, they hold, keep things hot and cold, and they're like a good size for fitting in backpacks. Excellent park bottle. This is a cool Magic Band. They've had some really neat Magic Bands there lately, but this is probably one of the coolest ones. It's a Pandora one, and it's like pink, and got like all the different colors on it. The wife was like, oh my God, that's awesome, I want that. So let's open this up and get a good look at this. Ah, oh, that's so awesome. Look at that. Pandora. And I'll put dollars to donut. This'll glow like heck in the Pandora stuff. This is gonna be a cool magic band for her. That magic band was $7.99. They always had cool phone cases there. And these we bought for gifts for people because these were just too cool to pass up on. Check it out, it's Stitch. And this phone case has a handle, like a, it comes with like a leash, I guess, like a, like a carrying strap. And these are $7.99, regularly $45. They had them in a couple of different phones. This one is for the XR, but look how cool he is. He's awesome. You knew it was coming, right? You knew it. This one's really cool because it also holds two credit cards. So it's like a little wallet. And it was also 45 bucks, $7.99 at the outlets. And it's the teacups. This one I have questions about. It has popcorn in it. Is that real? Is that real popcorn? Did they really put real popcorn in there? $45, comes with the strap. This one's for an iPhone XS. Really cool cases. They are starting to get some really neat stuff over there. And this was probably my favorite purchase of the day. And it was the cheapest thing I bought. 99 cents. A squishy Jack Skellington pen. Look at him. And this is like all squishy. 99 cents, I think these are, they're $10 pens, that's 90% off. You cannot go wrong with 90% off Jack Skellington pens that are squishy. This was a last second grab on the way out. I saw it in the rack and I grabbed it because it's the kiddo's favorite princess. Aurora, this is a Grand Floridian pin and it was $6.99. And I think it's because you can do like a, um, you can do tea, like a tea party with the princesses over at the Grand Floridian. We wanna do that for the kiddo, but right now they're not doing it due to the apocalypse. But her favorite princess on a pin had to grab it, $6.99. Now this was a birthday gift for the wife. You see, it was the wife's birthday a couple days ago or a day ago, depending on when you watch this. Could have been many days ago. Could have been never ago. Who knows how long ago this birthday happened, but it was my wife's birthday. Her favorite princess is Ariel, and they had these. Check that out. It is a Ariel figurine, and not only that,
It's supposed to play music. It stopped playing music. This is going back. I'm going to have to exchange this for a new one. But it's supposed to be a music box. It's, it's, it's supposed to play music. And this one is going to be a future giveaway. I don't know how I'm going to give it away. I think I'm going to probably do a joke contest. See where I'm going with this? Waka waka. That's right. They had Fozzie's not at Vineland today. These were at International a day or so ago, and I had to grab one because I want to give somebody a Fozzie away. I'll announce it in a future video. I think it's going to be a joke contest, and uh, it'll be fun. So somebody's going to get their chance to win their very own Fozzie. Waka waka. Also, stay tuned for a very special solo What Did Dad Buy video coming up very soon because Dad bought something awesome at the Magic Kingdom the other night and I need to show you guys. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you're subscribed and you got your notification bell on. All right, that's it. Back to the video. Get out of here. What are you still doing here? I told you guys, back to the video. You guys never listen. Bye. This is a previous What Did Dad Buy item. It's Mickey Mouse's Toontown House, and it's awesome. I love it. They had more of the ink and paint frame ornaments, and one that I haven't really seen around a lot. Dumbo! I think my favorite's still the Three Caballeros, though. This ornament is back. They had a bunch. They didn't have any. They had a bunch. Then they had them in these plastic things. This is an awesome ornament, though, for $2.99. I think these are in a race with the Jack Skellington hands for longest item in the outlets now. These have been here forever. These are cool because they left and came back, but $2.99 for a Halloween mug. And it's a really nice mug. It's not just a $2.99 mug, it's a nice mug. All right, here's a big thing. These were $4.99 over at International last week. They're $7.99 here, as are the canvas totes. So you have to watch these videos so you can know if you're overpaying for an item because these are only five bucks at the other location. The ink and paint stuff is starting to dwindle down. They still have the art sets. They've got quite a few of the plates, but only this one design and then no cups. They did have some of those uh, paint can mugs though. I don't think I featured it, but they did have some. They have this though, $5.99. Everybody tells me it's a magnet, but but why? I guess just to throw it on your fridge to have as a magnet? I guess that's cool. Uh-oh, Soul's already in the outlets. That can't be good for showing how well the movie has done. I've heard mixed feelings about it. Has anybody seen Soul? Let me know in the comments if you liked it. I know I like Mr. Potato Head, and a Mr. Potato Head shirt is awesome. I would rock that as an adult. Yeah, I'm a fan of Maui and the whole Moana. It's a great movie, and this is a great shirt. I love this shirt. And look, on the back, it has a Stormtrooper. So this is a two-sided shirt, front and back, Darth and the Stormtrooper. I think I actually prefer the Stormtrooper side. I would totally wear this shirt as an adult and I wish they made it in an adult size because just that that pastel purple and the blueprint looking thing of the Mandalorian is pretty awesome this is a shirt I haven't seen around a lot so I figured I'd feature it and we are together again with the mouse and have been back to the parks so make sure you check out my park videos they're a lot of fun I think you'll enjoy them I really enjoyed the Mandalorian I don't know about you guys and now I hear that this is the best fish and chips in all of Disney, pretty much mainly the main place to get fish and chips, which I need to go try. And I may try this weekend when I go to Epcot. I love this shirt. Chip and Dale are my boys. And I'm a fan of cruising. I wouldn't mind a Western European cruise when the apocalypse over. Why Maybe does Mike Wazowski win every race? Because he's always ahead. Waka waka. Oh man, really? Ouch. That's, that's kind of bad. Uh, not as good as the Darth joke, honestly. Most of the clothes is still kind of the same stuff that we've been seeing for weeks. 
So if you want to check out, you can check out my Mega Palooza videos or just keep keep up with watching my videos and you'll kind of know most of this stuff that I'm showing here in the pan. This was a new like hoodie zipper thing that I really hadn't seen around a lot. And it's that like really fancy Minnie Mouse version at 16 bucks. That's a good price. $4.99 for flip flops. In my house, you can't have enough flip flops. We we wear flip flops throughout the house just to, instead of wearing our outside sneakers. It's like an Asian thing. These are pretty much all the same clothes in the men's area that we've been seeing for weeks and weeks and weeks. Not a whole lot of uh, new stuff going on here. So you can check out my old videos and the Mega Palooza videos to see the information on these. Now's a good time for me to tell you that I have memberships. You can become a DGP Alliance member and you get all kinds of great things like the ability to win a lounge fly bag once a month and a personal shop from dad. Not too bad. Go ahead and check out the information is in the description. I like these Minnie Mouse mints. I could use these in the kitchen. I don't care that it's Minnie Mouse. This is a cute hat for a kid, I think. I mean, 2020 wasn't great, but it could be a nice hat. I know somebody was asking me if they had Lotso hats. Well, they had a Lotso hat. This was literally the only Lotso hat I saw in the store. This one's an interesting, it's kind of like retro, looks like it's faded and it's been used, which kind of goes with the whole Toy Story motif. And they also had some footballs. Football to throw around, sounds like a good time. $5.99, also not a bad price. All right, that's it. Thanks for watching my video. I love meeting all you guys in the outlets. I have heard so many people scream dad or yell waka waka at me lately. It's amazing and I love it. Always come up and say hi. I really enjoy knowing that you guys are watching and enjoying my videos. Please like, subscribe, consider joining the DGP Alliance. All that information on what that is is down below. You get some awesome member benefits and a chance to win a lounge fly bag once a month. Pretty good little deal. You can get all that information in the description below. That's it. If you guys, I'm brain, brain died. My brain just went gone. All right, that doesn't do outros, so that's it.